In addition to the amazing Translate features inside Microsoft's Translator app, such as the ability to translate text, translate voice recordings, translate text on images, as well as translate digital ink in real time, you can also have a real-time conversation or chat with other individuals across different devices. To start a chat, I'm simply going to click on conversation. And again, I'm starting a chat from my Windows 10 app of Microsoft Translator. However, before I start this chat, let me just show you by bringing up the website here that Microsoft also has a website, uh, translator.microsoft.com. And you'll notice here to the far right, you can actually start a conversation by clicking this tab. Now, the first time you do this, you will have to sign in. You'll be given a choice to sign in with your Microsoft credentials or even your Google credentials. And again, in our district, they're the same thing. But in this case, I'm going to start the chat from my Windows 10 app. So I'm just going to come back to my uh, bar here at the bottom, my task bar and click on that Windows 10 Translator app. Now to launch a conversation, I simply click Start Conversation. I enter in some information including my name and I choose my language. Now notice that if you were using this with your ELL students who are new to English um, or they're struggling with their English language skills, you can choose from a wide variety of languages. Uh, but I am going to set this chat up uh, to start with myself. So I'm going to choose English and click enter. Now, I've been given a conversation code here in the far right panel. I can see the current participants of the chat uh, or conversation are myself. I'm the only one here. And I have a reminder underneath that I can give other participants, as many participants as I want, the conversation code, or I can have them scan this QR code down here in order to join the conversation. What's really cool is, as I'm about to show you, when another participant joins the conversation with the conversation code, they can join in their own language. So let's go back to the website, translator.microsoft.com. And I'm going to click the tab, join conversation, because I now have a conversation code. Let me just grab that from my app and we'll enter it here. And I enter in a name and I choose the language that this person will participate in. So let's say that this particular person would participate in French. Go ahead and click enter. All right, so here we are in translator.microsoft.com inside a conversation, and we are um, actually participating as Michelle, and we selected the French language for Michelle to participate in. That is why if I take a look at the instructions on the screen, uh, they are all in French. All right, now before we get started, I'm just going to actually split my screen. So let's make this Michelle's view the right side of my screen. And I'm going to make my view the left side of the screen. All right, so if I look at my side of the screen, I can see the conversation code at the top and I can see participating in this chat are myself and Michelle. I can see that I'm participating in English and Michelle is participating in French. You will also notice that everything on my side of the screen is in English, whereas on Michelle's side of the screen, it is in French. And Michelle can also see that conversation code as well. Um, she can see that I'm participating and that I'm participating in English. All right, let's go ahead and get this conversation started. So 
I have a couple of options here. I can either uh, type my message to Michelle or I can press and hold down on the microphone and speak a message and it will be turned into text and translated for Michelle into French. Let's just see how that works. Hello, how are you today? Did you notice two things that happened? On my side of the screen, that message that I sent Michelle, hello, how are you today, was actually typed in English. But if I look at Michelle's side, it was translated into French. Now, let's have Michelle respond. Now, remember, you can either hold down the microphone and speak your message, or you can always type a message. So let's go ahead and type a message back. And that message that was typed in French was in real time translated into English. So as we can see, we have a few options for where we use the conversations uh, feature of the Microsoft Translator app. We can either use it in the Windows 10 app installed on our Windows 10 device, or we can go to the website translator.microsoft.com and uh, either start a chat from there or join a chat. But did you know you can also start a chat or join a chat from your mobile device, whether it be an iOS device or an Android device, as long as you have the Microsoft Translator app installed. Let me show you how. All right, so I've pulled uh, the image of my phone up on my screen and I am currently inside the Microsoft Translator app on my Android phone. I'm simply going to click uh, the conversations uh, feature. It's the icon with what looks like two individuals chatting back and forth. And notice that I'm given the option of either starting a conversation or if I have that join code, I can go ahead and join. So let's go ahead and type in that join code and click join. And notice that I can enter in my name and choose my language. Let's go ahead and choose German and we'll click enter. Now notice back in that Windows 10 app uh, where I'm conversing in English, I can now see that student A has joined the conversation and I can also see that student A is uh, joining the conversation in German. If I look to the far right of my screen uh, inside um, the window of the uh, website for translator.microsoft.com, Michelle can see that student A has joined and can also see that student A will be speaking German. And in the center of my screen, I see what student A sees. And again, student A can either choose the keyboard and can type or can hold down the microphone uh, in order to uh, use speech to text. Guten Morgen. And as you can see, student A said, good morning. And I received that in English on the left side of my screen. And we can see that Michelle received that message in French in the window for uh, the website. So overall, the conversations feature of the Microsoft Translator app can be a powerful tool to not only support emerging or struggling English language learners in your classroom, but also to engage in conversation with parents um, of ELL students in class and school community, such as at parent meetings or school events.